So after a long time in CR Droid, we finally have some amazing changes. It's been a long time, of course, CR Droid always does not give you any major changes with the new security patch and etc. But with the CR Droid latest version, which is 11.0 beta version, it is right now still in the beta stage. It is having the latest security patch, not the December one, but November, which is of course okay, available in beta stage for many devices. But with this new update, we have some changes. Let me show you as quickly as possible. Talk about CR Droid settings. In miscellaneous options, you will find this option named as sidebar. And this is just so good. It is almost similar to HyperOS or MIUI if you have ever used. We have some of the apps options available. So for example, if I try to enable some of these apps right now, after enabling these options in the sidebar, I will get all these apps. So I can simply launch them directly in the floating window. And this seems quite amazing, especially if you are a MIUI device user, if you if you use Xiaomi HyperOS, etc. If you have ever used and you are missing that feature, you don't need anymore. You don't have to anymore actually because we have this feature available personally speaking it is uh, it is working perfectly more than the comparison more, more than i was expecting this is looking good this is so good you can resize it and the performance seems to be good enough although it depends which device you are using so there might be some of the minor bugs here and there for you but i don't think so it's a major deal breaker especially because it's based on android 15 it is in the beta stage so it's not bad with the initial impressions, it seems good. Maybe with the upcoming updates, in case you are getting any issues or having some performance kind of issues, you might see some of the fixes will be applied with the, with the new update of CR Droid. So that seems quite amazing, and that is one of the major changes with one of the major features or changes available with the CR Droid latest version. Another thing is you will find in the recent panel that floating window option is present in this case too. Although I found that after enabling the option, this floating windows from here, sometimes it works, sometimes it is not. So not so sure, maybe my device has some issues, etc. But it is here and just wanted to let you know it's available directly here. You have to just click on the app icon. You will see these options. Split screen was already there. Even the free form window was already there. But the floating window is a bit different. So it's there. Now having a look at one of the other change which I found here is the new music player finally. We have some changes available. I made a short video also on this new music player available in some of the AOSP based custom rooms and CR Droid is one of them. And this is not a modded edition. This is already available. The package name is same. I found that. I'm not exactly sure if other devices got this one, but this is uh, the CR Droid latest official version I'm using. So this is not a device specific thing at all. So it should be available in your case too. And if it is not, let me know. I'll find out and see what, uh, what I can do in that. So we have Viper FX in my device, which is okay. So you can simply launch the equalizer directly from here. So in case your device has Dolby, you can use that. In case you do not have any, I don't think so it will launch anything in your device. Also, one thing which is available in this one is in the user interface. Now we have in the navigation settings that some of the actions. We have the option for uh, customizing the recents double tap and recents long press. So these options uh, might be useful, especially if you use the navigation keys. If you use long gestures or uh, full screen gestures, then it is uh, not of any use for you. But if you use this navigation keys at the bottom, then this could be a useful option for you. So you can customize the actions for one click, uh, basically for long press or double tap. We have a lot of options available, so definitely can be customizable. Including that one more thing which is so amazing, it is a smart space. So we have the Google smart space option available in the lock screen settings. As you can see at the top left, we have this kind of pill available, which is called as Google Smart Space. Few of the notifications will be there. So if you disable this thing, then you will be able to enable weather on lock screen. By enabling this weather on lock screen, you will only see the weather, but by enabling Smart Space, you will see some Google notifications, I guess. And yes, it's similar to the Smart Spacer app, which you can configure on any Android device without root, most likely with the help of Shizuku. Seems amazing, seems quite outstanding. So yes, this is one of the uh, most amazing updates of a CR Droid custom room. Seems good and of course, as expectedly, it's quite stable. 
uh, almost quite stable, smooth and should be used as a daily driver. It depends which device you're using, but it should be okay for you. We have some of the spoofing options already there. And if you install this custom ROM, you'll find some more amazing and interesting things. So these were things just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. And for these kind of videos, make sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.